are you getting images turning out like this and like this I would much prefer them to be like this and this then keep watching this video is definitely for you and welcome to today's video this video is going to be all about exposure compensation in my previous video I covered the exposure triangle and if you've not seen that it's well worth a look at that because if you're new to wildlife photography it's a very important component so I'll put a link up here so you can have a look at that one now exposure compensation works in three modes that's AV aperture priority or A on other cameras TV which is shutter priority or S on other cameras or P so the exposure compensation works in those modes and also when you're in evaluative exposure mode or matrix mode on other cameras so the button on your camera for the exposure compensation looks like this and the exposure compensation scale looks like this now as you can see you've got zero in the middle to the right is plus to the left is minus now you'll notice that where you're at zero next to that is one segment that is a third the next segment is two thirds and then the next segment is one stop then it goes on to one stop and one third one stop and two third and those are both ways either in the plus side or in the minus side okay so what is actually happening is when you're in the AV mode the aperture priority it actually takes it down one stop one F stop aperture and when you're in TV it actually slows down the shutter speed one stop okay well in this situation we've got the water and we've got the sky and both are going to be bright so what we need to do now is take a picture of a duck on the water and hopefully something flying and I'll show you exactly what we need to do okay so I'm now at 5.6 ISO 640 and I've got one thousandth of a second my exposure compensation at the moment is at zero so if I take a picture now and I'll show you that one the duck is now silhouetted it's in black so I'm gonna go to plus one stop on the exposure compensation and that's how it comes out so you can see now the difference by me doing one stop of the exposure compensation. Now what I've done is I've gone plus one stop because the water is bright. Now the reason why you have to do that is because the camera itself is set to AV, aperture priority. So that's set to AV. The automatic part of the camera is set at the factory be something called 18% grey. Now that 18% grey is where that camera wants to be with its exposure. The thing is because it's on evaluative exposure meter it's reading the whole scene and because it's reading the whole scene it's thinking well this is too white I'm going to darken it so it darkens it so you've got to fool the camera and the way to fool the camera is by exposure compensation and in this case I've gone one stop if you remember it's one third two thirds or one stop well then you go one and one third stop one and two thirds stop and then two stops and that is trial and error but when you get used to your camera you'll know where to be and you'll always take two or three shots anyway so you can adjust it the beauty of this Canon camera is I adjust the exposure compensation with my thumb it's on the wheel at the side and I just do my thumb up and down so I've tightly gripped the camera my fingers on the shutter button my thumb is able then to adjust the exposure compensation 
okay so now I'm going to take this bird at zero compensation alter it to plus one stop and I'll take that again so now I'll be able to show you the difference with a silhouetted bird a bird that's not silhouetted Okay, well I've just spotted an Egyptian geese on some grass over there. Well, grass is pretty neutral, so basically I don't need any exposure compensation at all. So I'm going to leave it at zero and see what I can get. Yeah, that's that, that, that'll be a nice shot, I'm going to say. There's a fox. so there's no exposure compensation at all. It's gone right next to that crow. They're looking at each other. No exposure compensation, but a fox, Egyptian, geese, and a crow together. That's fabulous. That just goes to show, I've come out today to teach you about exposure compensation. I'm looking over at the field and I could see that there was that Egyptian geese, which would be ideal for me to take a picture at zero exposure compensation. And then a fox, a little bit in the distance, I saw him come into the frame, but he kept walking towards me. And as he's walking towards me, he gets in, in contact with a, a crow. They're looking at each other. All I can say is, that fox was not hungry. He got a choice of a meal there, and he just walked by, and he just took a little look at him, and then he walked straight, straight on into the bushes. <laughs> On these next two images I had to do minus one stop. The reason for that is if you see the image itself, the outside of the image, the whole main part, is a dark area. So the camera would have automatically brightened the whole scene up, making the heron blown out too white. It would have been far too bright. So with minus one stop, we fooled the camera to thinking that this is exactly where the exposure needs to be and that's why it's turned out like that same with this one because of the dark green around it it would have made it so that this gold crest would have been completely blown out too too bright and it just wouldn't have worked so minus one stop made it so that all the image itself turned out really nice <laughs> Oh yeah, I did. Lift it up. Now the lift up or tilt it up, it doesn't matter. Now when you tilt up the joystick, do you know you can do that with the joystick? That's left. <laughs> then there's right. <laughs> now, now go up. Up. Hello. Why don't you know what up means? That's a cross. <laughs> Hold on, let me get in. It's doing everything I don't want it to do. Now you've gone down, so you now go up. Wow. That's it. Yeah. You can't get that in, could you? Oh. 
I'll drive the boat. Right, one, two, three, go. My name is Mark Blake. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please hit the like button. And if you can, please subscribe. Thank you. Bye now.